Two trouble with these designs are a crime against humanity! How so? Look at this straw! It shrinks as you drink it! If you try to pull it... Ah! It never bothers me. Look, there's a notch in the straw. All you have to do is pull and twist. That way, the straw won't shrink. Oh! Uh, what about the stitches on this rice bag? I have to cut one section at a time and there are two of them! I'm starving by the time it's done! Simple. Look, the lines on both sides of the rice bag are not the same. This is a double line. This is a single line. Turn the single thread towards you. Undo the knot on the right side. Pull the two strings together, and it's open. In the same way, no need to cut the thread on the sock bag. Pull it open. Well then, this one must be a crime. You see how it spills when I pour it? Half of it goes to waste. Try it the other way around. Turn it the other way? Wouldn't it spill more? <laughs> Think about it. If you pour it like this, the pressure inside and outside the bottle is isolated. So if the air tries to come in, it'll collide with the coconut milk. But if you do it the other way around, leaving a gap at the top of the bottle, the air will come in and the coconut milk will come out. Ooh. Actually, these designs are not truly a crime against humanity. Then what is? A real example is... As for the close test, the questions are split. <laughs> Watch, when you lift and release a magnet with needles, what will happen to the balloon? The balloon will be punctured. Look, it's punctured. <laughs> what if we put a copper plate underneath, but not in direct contact and repeat the experiment? Will the balloon still be punctured? I think so. The plate doesn't block the magnet, and the magnet doesn't attract copper. Watch closely. This time... <laughs> Look, there's a mysterious force that pulls the magnet. How so? Where does the force come from? Don't worry, we're gonna do it again. Now we replace the balloon with a mobile phone. And I'll lift the magnet even higher. Let's see what happens. You better be sure this is a cell phone! Take it easy. If the magnet is not hindered, the phone will indeed break. But have you heard of the damping effect? Of course I have! Cars have dampers for shock absorption! What's that gotta do with this? Watch closely. This is a form of damping effect. Copper is a conductor, and when the magnet moves, electric current occurs in the copper plate. Create a magnetic field that opposes the motion of the magnet, making the swing come to a... <gasps> Stop! Wow. This code is for you. It has no pull tab. Oh, I didn't notice. Can you still open it? <laughs> Since it has no pull tab, well... Hey. The opening of the can is very thin. I just need to keep some distance and repeatedly rub the opening with a pen. So I have to... Hey, don't just drink. Have some jelly. Hey. You also got jelly? Hmm? Where are the edges gone? Did you do this? Of course not. You know me. I got an idea. Wipe the bottom and give it a gentle bite. Hey, snacks aren't healthy. Drink this coconut water. Wow, you even got a coconut for me. Well, do you have a knife on you? Why would I keep a knife with me? I've got chopsticks. Uh? Chopsticks? How can I make it? Hmm. Let's see how you handle this. Oh, I got an idea. There is a soft spot on top of the coconut that serves as a nutrient transfer point. So all you need to do is poke it in the center and then explore around the area. Do you really think you can open a coconut with a chopstick? <gasps> aren't you a nice person? My Steve-Mate's brother is really awesome! He created a handmade camera! Wow, that's nice! Whoa! Other people's brother is really awesome, unlike some people! Come on, it's just a handmade camera. I can make a camera a thousand times larger. What'd you say? A thousand times <gasps> larger. Are you sure? A thousand times larger? It must be as big as this room! Exactly! I'm gonna make this room a camera, projecting the scenery outside the window onto what? the wall. Huh, what'd the doctor say? <laughs> Look, all we need to do is cover the window with a cloth, like this, and then create a hole in it to make a pinhole camera to present the scenery outside the window on the wall. Oh, it's still blurry! Even PHS could take a better photo than this! Hang on, the larger the hole, the blurrier the image is. But the image would be dark when the hole is too small. So I got a convex lens and slid it into the hole. Since focal length is slightly less than the width of the room, using the laws of convex lenses, a view that's twice as far out of focus can be seen clearly on the wall. I didn't. I made it myself. What? You, you made, made it, it yourself? But it's so creamy! It's totally homemade, which only takes three steps. Come on, let me show you. We have all the ingredients at home. Step one, 0 0.4 liters of milk, 70 grams of formula, 30 grams of sugar, 15 grams of starch, mix well. Huh? No eggs and cream? No. Step two, heat over low heat and keep stirring. Make sure you don't burn it. When it thickens, turn off the heat. Pour into a container. I can't find one. Use this. Seriously? I am an ice cream container? Put it in the fridge for four or five hours. This is as good as the ones you buy? That's right. There's very little water in the ingredients. It was stirred the whole time, so there's no ice crystals. And it adds a lot of air in. When it's out of the fridge, creamy ice cream is ready. Let's try it. Ooh. 
It's good. Come on, here's an ice break. How many strikes does it take to break it? Mm -hmm. An ice break? What? A single strike will do it. Believe it or not, if you pulp paper and freeze it into ice, even 10 strikes can't break. Huh? Frozen paper pulp can withstand 10 strikes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's have a try. Take two liters of water and 300 grams of waste paper, then pulp the paper with water. Oh, it's soothing. For how long? For half an hour. That's overwhelming. Oh. <laughs> Keep grinding until the paper is completely pulped. Once the paper pulp is done, pour it into a mold and place it in the freezer for freezing. Finally, we got a nice block. Now let's see how sturdy it is. Why bother? It takes one strike. Watch out! Beerquala, <laughs> beerquala. Nine strikes to go. Let's do it outdoors. Let's see how many strikes it takes to break the ice break. Huh. If I can't break this, I'll eat my hat! Eight strikes to go. Six strikes to go. Come on! Only four strikes left. I did some research. The composite material made from paper pulp plus water is called hydrate. The paper pulp significantly enhances the tensile strength of the ice and prevents cracks from spreading. So a hammer can't do the job. New! I'm gonna open this durian and it's gonna be great! If you think you can pick a better one, then it's on me! My fruit seller uncle taught me how to pick durian. I'll go have to try now. How do I pick a good one from so many durians? Take it easy. To pick a good durian, we need to follow four steps. First, check its shape. The plump leafy shape is the first choice. This one is not as good as the previous one. Second, count its segments. Segments? The number of bulging segments corresponds to the number of edible chambers. This one has four segments. And this one has even more. It's got six. <gasps> But it's not ripe. Huh? How do you know it's not ripe? That is the third step. Not its shell. Tap the shell with a stick. If it sounds like a deflating balloon, it means it's ripe. If the sound is solid, it means it's unripe. Well, this one is. Get out of here! Fourth, check the thorns. My uncle said a durian with small and sharp thorns usually has thinner skin. Look, the ones with pyramid-shaped thorns may have thicker skin. So taking all of the above into consideration, make this one. Huh? Let's have a look. Yeah. This durian is 2.83 kilograms. Let's check out how much flesh it has. The flesh rate of a golden pillow durian is about 30%. So you mean this one should have almost a kilogram of flesh? Its flesh weighs 1.236 kilograms. So the flesh rate is 43%. So much flesh! Hope you all can find your repaying durian. Mew, if you can open this with your bare hands, it's yours. If not, you'll do my socks. How about it? Yee! Open the charm with my bare hands. Yeah, that's right, with your bare hands, and you have one minute starting now. It's like a free gift. Mm -hmm. Come on, how can it be so smooth? Hmm. I found out this is the most difficult type of jar to open. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> You're not allowed to crack it open, just put it on the table. <sighs> 30 seconds left. Oh no. It seems effective methods all involve using tools. 17. How can I open with just my bare hands? 16. 15. 15. Wait a minute, there's still one trick I haven't tried yet. Uh, you're running out of time! Hey. Watch closely. Right. Now it's still sealed, but all I need to do is cross my hands and push Thank inward with force. What's that sound? The jar will easily open up. <gasps> That's impossible! How can it be that simple? What? That's so cool!